because I hate yeah. you, Ted well, Cruz. And two Netflix. years ago, right. I was covering a two different people. One lived in Dallas, one lived in Houston, and we spoke every day. We had a relationship where we were internal, external counterparts. And um, that's such a weird way to describe. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, trying, <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm trying to be very vague about it because I don't want, like talking mm. about my work. But um, so, but anyway, I have to speak to them every day as part of my job. And so all of a sudden there was that snowstorm and Texas lost power for like a week. And it was like all of Texas. And so even though one's in McKinney and one's in the woodlands, very yeah. far apart, both of them lost their power for a week. And the one in the woodlands like went to a neighbor that had a generator. So he ended up being okay. He had four kids, you know, yeah. they ended up, it was awkward, he said, but he was okay. The one in McKinney had nothing. And they said they lived at like the bottom of a hill. They couldn't get their cars up the hill because it was like the roads were iced over. And yeah. their house was like 30 degrees. They were like getting water out of something. And like, you're like it boil, if you hope you've flush. got your stove work so you can like boil snow, right? Yeah. It's wild. And um, I think their pipes burst. But I mean, they literally had like, I would talk to her every day and she'd have like four coats on and thought they were going to freeze to death in Texas. So that was just wild. Yeah. Yeah. It's obviously events like that stick with people. Like you remember yeah. that? Um, it's happened several times now. Uh, those, those are extreme failures. But But every summer and every winter, there is notices sent out from the utility providers be it in houston or, or in austin hey everyone don't run your ac as hard because the grid can't take it or hey everyone and it's funny it, it, it is funny because that's like okay that's ridiculous like uh and it's it's because okay so let's take a step back and, and i guess we can pivot to some of the legal questions with this too um your subject well congress has the has the authority to pass laws that uh, regulate interstate commerce. So money changing, money crossing state lines is subject to the federal government. And I mean, to be completely honest, that clause of the constitution, the commerce clause probably is, is responsible for the overwhelming majority of the federal government today, because our economy today is fundamentally it's not localized like, like it once was. Um, so I don't know if you know this, there's really only like two power grids in the United States um, and they all cross state lines, except Texas didn't want to be regulated from the federal government. So we disconnected ourselves from the uh, surrounding states power grids. So when there's a surge and we need more, we can't get it. Um, and that also means we don't have to submit or comply with federal regulation on energy grids. So in the same vein, we also have an outdated energy grid. So it's, it's a pretty fascinating problem that's <laughs> uniquely caused by uh, the people who don't have to deal with its consequences. And I think people remember those things. What's the benefit? There's, like, why did Texas want to do this? The benefit is... Um, okay, it's like, let's put it this way. Um, the, the benefit is you can't tell us what to do. The benefit is... I, I will say that's a big one for me. I don't like people yeah. telling me what to do. So I Well, kind of... when, when I say you don't have to do what they tell you to do, I mean the people I pay uh, money every month to to be able to use electricity. Those people don't have to do what officials I elect tell them to do. Uh, yeah, that's, um, but well, I guess but I it's pretty wild attitude, but that sucks for the people. Of well, Texas. yeah. I mean, there's a reason that utilities are, utilities are very regulated because well, they're in theory, monopolies, you, right they're That's good. I would say, uh, I don't know that they're necessarily regulated because they're monopolies, but you, in theory, you break up a monopoly. Um, they're, they're regulated because they're, necessities so like yeah. you can only charge so much for these things for example it really goes to a point a broader question that i think is emerging lately which is 
why are why are your options for cell phone providers all just equally garbage with no real reason to incentivize and improve the quality of service? Uh, it's because they're not treated like a utility, but they should be, I would argue. Um, anyways, I guess to take a, a step back from all of that, they can have a shitty power grid and demand payment because I have no other choice, but because they're not connected to power grids in other states, the federal government can't tell them what to do. So you have cronyism and all sorts of people in positions where they're insulated from reproach and they're never going to be replaced, basically deciding on whether or not they should get a bonus or if they should spend money on making their product better. And it's not like they're going to lose customers. Where are we going to go? Who are we going to buy it from? 